Let me preface this video by clearly stating absolutely everything I'm about to talk about is fake. It isn't official. I merely want to highlight the lengths to which members of the Battlefield community go, for a few reasons. Before getting into that, let's take a look at what I'm referring to. Alright, first we load up this YouTube channel, called Stage 1 Complete. It has two videos sitting there, just waiting for us to dive into them. Load up the first one, which was uploaded two weeks ago, and we're met with the spectator video of the Provence map in Battlefield 5. The audio is super loud and distorted. The title too. I'm not sure exactly what the translation is. Maybe let me know in the comment section. The description though actually drops us back once again in Kazakhstan, obviously tying back to that Eidolon easter egg in Battlefield 5. That one to be fair is actually real. I have a video about that on the channel, maybe give it a look. Aside from the weird audio, there isn't a lot to examine with the video itself. That is until you extract the audio and take a look at the waveforms. By using the spectral frequency graph, we can see the audio waveforms actually make up a date. 11, 11, 21. Clearly, this is supposed to resemble the release date of Battlefield 2021, and to be fair, it might well be. We know it's releasing at the end of next year. While the 11th seems a little early, it wouldn't be unheard of. Battlefield 1 released at the end of October, as an example. Okay, now let's check out that other video, titled 15th December 2020. Coincidentally, that's today at the time of uploading this video. We're met with a timer, counting down to a specific date. 7,983 days from today. If we do the sum, the countdown, including the hours, will end on Friday, the 25th of October, 2042. Hmm. The video itself isn't anything special. Big ol' number 6 in the middle that is clearly a throwback to Battlefield 2, along with the caption, it's the end of the world as we know it. Just another indication that this is fake, in case you didn't believe me at the start of the video, the grammar isn't quite right here. The music is pretty cool, I can't quite place it, but let's be real, it's not too hard to find music on the internet, or better yet, compose it yourself. The description is a nice touch. When you translate the Morse code, you get this. The magic that won the war brings you here. The missing key takes you to the future. The magic that won the war is a reference to the telekinesis reload for the M1 Garand in Battlefield 5, the books found on Almar's encampment, and also Provence, the map shown in the other video. The key I'm assuming is referring to the unused easter egg in the Battlefield 5 single player. I think it might have been combined arms actually. But yeah, there's an easter egg there on the Narvik map that just wasn't fully developed. And finally, the channel banner. What is it? Some horribly distorted image of some kind. Any ideas? Like I said, fake. But that's not the point I'm trying to make here with you. Over the years, EA and DICE have crafted an environment online that promotes these easter egg hunts. They've consistently tied the reveal of the next game to these sort of teasers and puzzles. DICE leave clues in their games years before revealing anything. So, after so many years of this trend continuing, it's everyone's assumption that this will be the method EA uses to reveal Battlefield 2021. Weird messaging, developers and community managers teasing on social media, abstract videos like the ones we're seeing here. It's for this reason that distinguishing between fake and real has gotten so hard. As more and more people in the Battlefield community start to catch on to the trend, the more fake content we'll see. That's one way of looking at it. But here's another. I don't see this as some way of leading people on. I feel as though it's clear enough that this is fake and the creator knows it. I see this entire channel as some sort of love letter to DICE and the franchise and maybe to the Battlefield community as well. It can't have been easy to make these videos, to tie so many things together using Morse code, distorted audio, weird countdowns, it's all there. I say well done to the creator of this channel, whoever you are or whoever they are. While it doesn't lead me on, it does sort of keep me excited. 
Not because DICE and EA did something, but because at the end of the day, after all of the giving out we do as a community, after all of the complaining, we really do it because we enjoy Battlefield. And that's what this channel is to me. It's a passion project. They aren't getting money from this. They've more than likely done it to get people excited, to keep people interested and to get people speculating, sharing crazy and wacky ideas. One of which was shared with me on Twitter just yesterday and I think I'll share it with you lads too, but I'll cover that in a separate video. I love this sort of stuff, I really do. I'm not a fan of supposed quote-unquote leakers coming out and telling us they know something and they know better than us. That's just stupid. Uh, but this sort of stuff, it's cool to see. Some genuine effort has gone into this, not just a word vomit into the forums claiming you know something. But anyway, thank you lads for watching, share your thoughts down below, I'd love to read them. If you enjoyed today's video then please do leave it a like or a dislike if you didn't and subscribe for more content from me. But until the next one, I'll see you lads later.